from Shil Gonzalez with AAB Creates, and today we're going to show you how to do DIY shibori napkins. Um, if you haven't noticed, shibori is the new ikat. It is basically a fancy schmancy word for tie dye, but without the head shop and Grateful Dead references. Um, it's really a stitch resistant way of dyeing fabric, and we thought that since it's such a hot trend in home, it would be great to take it into your home entertaining or your weddings. So we're going to start with a simple white napkin. Um, you can purchase these in bulk online if you're thinking about this for your wedding, or you can purchase them in sets of five or six if you just want something for a dinner party. And a bunch of rubber bands, a bottle of dye, an old pot that you don't need to use anymore, and a container that you um, can rinse out, a clear glass or plastic container that you're going to use for rinsing and soaking. So the first step is that we're going to take our napkins and I'm going to show you a couple of different ways to kind of tie them. You're going to take your napkin and this is sort of to give you a circle pattern and handkerchief it like this and essentially you're going to take a bunch of rubber bands and tie them tight from the top all the way with maybe about an inch in between. Sporadically, and this is going to give you sort of this concentric circular pattern that's really cool. And with the napkins, you definitely want to make sure that you are using um, like 100% cotton or 100% linen napkin because it's definitely going to receive the dye better. So you're going to take your napkin that's tied with the rubber bands, you're going to dip it into water. You'll have heated up this dye, um, it, so it's like basically like water, four parts water with one part dye. Um, you're going to dump this into the pot. In real life, you're going to wait about 45 minutes, and if you really want to punch up the cover, color, you can add in a hint of salt. Um, and then we're going to remove our napkin, squeeze it out, rinse it in your clear water. That. Take your scissors and cut away the rubber bands that have been protecting the fabric from the dye, and voila, you've got this really awesome shibori tie-dye circular pattern. If you need to make other kinds of patterns, what I would definitely tell you is to just really take your finger and at random really pull up little areas that you want to tuft up around the napkin. Tie them off with rubber bands. Repeat the process with the dye, the dipping in the water, the dye, and then rinsing. And you'll end up getting something like this with sort of a random circular pattern. And that's how to make a DIY shibori napkin for either a great dinner party or as like a real signature unique piece at your wedding. Thank you!